everybody, Tatan Zuleta here, and today I want to talk to you about things that you have to keep in mind before you buy your first light for photography. Now, when you're buying your first light, what should you think about? What, how, with all the options that you got out there, what should you get? And there are four things that you really have to put some thought into before you even purchase your first light. First thing you should think about is the power output of your strobe. Now, if you're working in a small space, a powerful strobe is not gonna help you that much. First of all, because you don't need that much power. And second, if you're in a small space, your light is normally gonna be too close to your subject. And when you lower the intensity of your strobe, that probably is not gonna cut it. Second thing you need to think about is, do you shoot a lot outdoors or not? Because if you do, then you need to buy a strobe that is gonna allow you to use high-speed sync so you can control the ambient light as much as you can. The third thing that you should think about is mobility. Are you gonna be moving around too much? Are you gonna be working like, let's say, a run and gun, like if you're a wedding photographer or an event photographer? That's that's another thing that you need to think about instead of buying just bulky big bulky lights you should buy something more small and more more easy for you to move around and the fourth thing is how easy it is for you to be able to modify your source the most common modifiers have bowen mounts and a mount is a little ring that comes on the back of the modifier that you can use to incorporate it to your strobe strobes like westcott godox flashpoint They'll use Bowen mounts. Brands like Profoto, Ellencrum, Pulse Buff, they have their own mount. So one of the factors that you should be looking into is, is it easy for you to modify your light so you can change the look of your images. So there you go guys, four things that you need to keep in mind. The first one is output in the place that you work at. The second one is, do you shoot outdoors and do you need high speed sync? The third one will be mobility and the fourth, how easy it is for modify your light. If this video was useful, please like it and share it with your friends. And I will be seeing you on the next video. Till then, be safe.